Okay, now we learn about topic 20, sodium tyrosulfate. Okay, now sodium tyrosulfate, uh, the idea is that this, uh, um, this reaction, right, um, it will able to produce sulfur. So you will have this X, a paper marked with X. Then when sulfur form, right, when you're getting more and more sulfur, the sulfur is yellow color. Now. So the sulfur will slowly cover the X. Then you will be able to see. So we will use this experiment, how to know rate the reaction. You see how long the X disappeared from the site. Oh. That one take 120 seconds, disappear. One take 30 seconds, disappear. Of course, 30 seconds is faster. Okay. So this is the idea of the experiment. So the, the, the graph, right? The, the ionic equation is like this. This plus, this is 2 minus, this plus, this is 2 minus, this plus, this is 2 minus. So the one that no change will be my sodium. My SO4. Okay, so uh, the colliding particle will be the tyrosulfate ion and hydrogen ion. Okay, so this one you need to know about this one. Then for the factor, it's very simple because both are liquid, ma. both are aqueous. So you can control the concentration for both sides. Then temperature, you can heat the sodium tyrosulfate. Okay. Then uh, for this one, they'll ask you to plot graph. La. So this graph uh, will look something like this, that um, uh, this is called inverse proportional. La. Then after that, to convert inverse proportional to direct proportional, just you, you, you learn in mathematics or NMAX, and you just double it, become one over time, you get a direct proportion. So same thing to here. Um, if you if you invert proportional temperature and time, because the higher the temperature, the shorter the time, because high temperature reaction fast. La. Lower temperature reaction slow. It's going to take longer time. So same thing, you divide the graph, you get a straight line graph like this. Okay, so this is the idea. Then the colliding, uh, uh, the collision theory is very simple. It's about temp concentration. So particle per unit volume is higher. We cancel the HNA plus, then the ion is the tyrosulfate ion. Then uh, when a temperature higher, hydrogen will gain kinetic energy and move faster like this. Okay, so we try this question. Mean the precipitate that caused the X to disappear, which is your sulfur, then which is the yellow color. Then the chemical equation you have to remember. This is uh, sodium tyrosulfate plus the sulfuric acid. And A2S2O3 plus sulfuric acid H2SO4. That will become sodium sulfate. Plus H2O plus S plus SO2. Okay, the ionic equation we will cancel the the Na, we cancel the SO4, then we will get S2O3 2 minus plus 2 H plus. And then become H2O plus S plus C2. Okay, so this is the equation. Then calculate the mass that form. So we check what information given here. Always have calculation. Okay, this is M. This is V. So uh, NV is 0 0.1 and 20. So you use the NV1000 to calculate the number of mole of the, of the this is sorry, I wrong one, uh, NA2, S203. Then the ratio between these two is one to one. So you can see one more, produce one more. So 0 0.02, produce 0 0.02. Then after that, um, uh, you can calculate the sulfur. So you get this sulfur, you bring it to here, you get uh, 0 0.2, so you get 0 0.04 gram. Then after that, the effect of concentration, same map, concentration higher, particle per unit volume increase. Uh, frequency of collision increase, frequency of effective collision increase, rate of reaction increase. So you can mention about uh, tyrosulfate ion higher concentration, then more, uh, more tyrosulfate ion per unit volume. Then uh, frequency of collision between tyrosulfate ion, this one, and hydrogen ion is higher. You can see a very similar one. For the real reaction, okay. Sketch a graph standard lah. You sketch lah. One is inverse proportional, one is direct proportional. But this graph is not very good. So I draw first. It should look like look like this. 
inverse proportional, direct proportion. Okay, so you know the graph. Let me check the second one. I need equation that occur. So same thing, sodium tetrasulfate and hydrochloric So this one's slightly different. And A2 has 2O3 plus hydrochloric acid will become NaCl plus S plus SO2 plus H2. Then who no change? Plus 2 minus plus minus plus minus and a no change cl minus no change the s2o3 had disappeared the h plus had become h2o so it become s plus so2 plus h2o okay salvo is below plot the graph if you plot this graph you'll get something like this huh? okay yeah with that the higher the temperature the higher the rate of reaction so um temperature higher, tyrosulfate ion will gain kinetic energy more faster. So more tyrosulfate ion are able to achieve the, the activation energy because everybody's studying together. So the marks will be higher. Then after the frequency of collision between hydrogen ion and tyrosulfate ion is, is, is the same, increase. Then frequency effective collision also increase. Then um, a cup of half drunk milk left in the sink overnight next day then the milk is spoiled already. the same milk put inside refrigerator it looks good condition because you can write lah, lower temperature the uh, bacteria will be uh, uh, lower activity so it's right the milk turn back will be slower uh, uh, lesser rate lah. okay then you try this one now this one right you have to know how to calculate out the number okay the ion equation is similar to this now then the x is covered by the yellow precipitate but the main thing is the graph here the graph right is something like this, huh? Oh uh, no, this one is the 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 type of sulfate, uh, Na2S2O3. It's a school pass here. So you see, uh, the idea is like this: uh, use M1 V1 equals to M2 V2. Okay. Now, so we look at the the sodium type sulfate. The original is zero point two. So you have your 0 0.2 as your original original concentration. So for now, we have 20. Okay, my sodium tetrasulfate is 20 cm cube. Then I add water. Okay, water 30. So at the end, my final my final volume becomes 50. 50 means um, original 20 plus 30 water, then I will get my M2, we bring over there, divide, you'll get about 0 0.08. I always need to fix the number. You realize that these two numbers added together is always uh, 50 cm cube. Why this happened? Because uh, to make sure the, the, the result is accurate, right? we must make sure the height of the total volume of the, uh, the height of the, the, the mixture must be the same always 50 cm cube so that when you observe the x star you actually observe from the same height because if the other is the more water right, it will be hard to look at the x below so to make sure all the experiment is uh, fair right so we must make sure the total volume is equal to 50. so you can see the next one also uh 10 and 40 so same now uh, our original is 10 original concentration is 0 0.2 this one's fixed in d1 but now i add more water now original 10 i add 40 water. So the concentration will drop to 0 0.04. Then here you just take one divided by time. Of example, let me calculate that. Uh, one divided by time is one divided by 15.2. I'll get 0 0.0658. Let me check the second one. Um, one divided by 18.5. I will get 0 0.0541. Then next one, 1 divided by 36. I will get 0 0.0385. Next one, 1 divided by 38.6. You'll get 0 0.0259. Next one, 1 divided by 82.2. You'll get 0 0.01. Seven. That is okay. You sketch a graph, then uh, explain the effect of concentration. Same lah. Um, 
the higher the concentration, more particle per unit volume, frequency of collision between the thiosulfate ion and hydrogen ion is higher. Okay. Then suggest two other methods to increase the rate of reaction. Uh, we look at here um, for because I have got solution, so I can increase the the, the temperature and I can increase the, the concentration. Because solution only can uh solid, we can adjust the size. Liquid, you can adjust the concentration. Gas, we adjust the pressure. So all these three can use temperature and then catalyst. But this reaction, there's no catalyst. So we only can use concentration and temperature. Yeah. We move on to the next question. You see, you can try by yourself. Ah, uh, this one this is the answer. And we use one divide by time. Then the manipulated variables will be the this one. This is my manipulated variables. Then my uh, my responding variables will be the time taken for X mark to disappear from site. You must mention about the, from site, huh? Then constant variables will be the volume and concentration of sulfur acid. Then why the X mark no longer visible after you add inside? Because the the sulfur uh, will cover it. Okay, the equation. Same just now. Relationship. So the higher the temperature, the higher the real reaction. Why? So it's the same with just now. Uh, the, the higher the temperature, the thiosulfate ion move faster, more thiosulfate ion achieve the activation energy, then um, thiosulfate ion will collect more with hydrogen ion. Okay. Now this is the last question uh, for this chapter. It is the k question. So this k question right, is slightly different that uh, just now is the sulfur cover the X bar, but this one is the milk. Because milk normally is white color. So you can't see that, but as the enzyme slowly digests the milk, uh, I think we saw before some milk maybe spoil. You realize that it becomes solid. So when it becomes solid, right, all the solid will with the glum here. Then you start to able to see the X. Uh, so it's a cave up question that it actually milk you cannot see. Then when digested, you can see the X. Just now it's original. You can see the X. Then the 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 sulfur will cover the X. So this is the metabolic process. So what is the change? So you can see uh, the change in the milk, the time taken for X mark to appear, to be visible. visible. Okay. Manipulated will be the temperature. Fixed verbals will be the rest. Uh. Then time taken, what is the, what is the relationship? Time is of, uh, real reaction actually is one over time. Uh. Then you look at this graph, it's a thinking question. Uh, if you plot the graph, you realize that the real reaction increased a lot until this temperature, then suddenly drops. So you need to explain about this thing. No? So actually, if you learn bio before, you know this is what we call optimum temperature. Okay, you, you increase, then uh, you reach an optimum temperature. But when more than optimum temperature, it actually denature. It's just like denature means the like your egg, right? Uh, after boil, it become white color. So actually, the enzyme cook really natural. So uh, that's why it suddenly drop a lot because all the enzymes dying really have to change to another form. Okay, so this is a drafty. This is a, a question, a draft question from the textbook.